Well, the second of today's Group 1s then is the first of today's two classics. It's the Oaks for the Phillies over a mile and a half, three rounds of course, and at the top we've got Barber Coas for Darren Thompson, Bridget Craig Beckwith, Cafe Pacific for Craig Allen, closed entry for Craig Allen as well, Dillion Star, Alex Cherry, Joyrider, Dan Hughes, Kuwaiti Lioness, Paul Rhodes, Lascivious, Patrick Hogan, or Leon's Paul Rhodes, Petrovna Location, David Robertson, Roaring Fortis, Martin Leader, and Roaring Hawk, Dan Hughes. So 12 of them then to face the starter. Dozen top class fillies in this, and away they go then. And who's going to be the one that makes the run? It looks like I'm on the far side of the rail. Roaring Forties got out well. All leans though. It looks like he wants to be the one to take them, but nothing seems all that keen to lead. And it looks like we might get a slow pace in the Oaks. But Kuwaiti Lioness has now got on the Paul Rhodes pair. Then are one and two. It's all leans on the outside of stable mate Kuwaiti Lioness. They're too clear of Lascivious. They're both being reasonably well held though, so they're not going as quickly as they could do. Petrovna locations in fourth. Barber Kosa was in fifth on the inside rail. Roaring Forties is after that one. We with closed entry tucked in behind it, Cafe Pacific and Roaring Hawk are just a back two at this stage, but it's Orleans who shows the way now, clear by three, stable mate, Kuwaiti Lioness just dropped back into the pack then and passed by Barber Kogas, and then after that one comes uh, Petrov the location on the outside, Lascivious is still there, Joyrider as well, trying to get into it, Roaring Fort is trapped on the rail, wide on the track, Alex Cherry's nearly on star, is also pretty well placed at this point, but they're racing now towards the final Final seven furlongs, and it's Orleans who leads by about four lengths to Barber Coas in second. Kuwaiti Linus on the inside is third, then Lascivious is four. Petrovna location is five, then comes Joyrider and closed entry, Roaring Hawk and Roaring Forties, and also Cafe Pacific, Delian Star. Finally, Bridget is now the back marker, but it's Orleans who's clear by four, then racing down towards the final five and a half furlongs, and Orleans is four clear. Stable mate Kuwaiti Linus coming out of the pack. Roaring Forties now got a clear run into third, then comes Cafe. Cafe Pacific, who's made good ground, then Petrovna location, Lascivious is next, Roaring Hawk, the Grace trying to get going as well, Petrovna location just dropped back, Dini on star, with work to do so too, Joyrider and closed entry, but it's Orleans, who's still in the lead by two, to Kuwaiti Lioness in second, Roaring Forties is still there in third, as they come down towards the three furlong mark, and Orleans has been in the lead pretty much all the way, Kuwaiti Lioness is in second, now Roaring Hawk moves into third, Roaring Forties fourth, then Barbacoa, and also Cafe Pacific on the outside, Side Lascivious has just lost his place, but Trovna locations in a flat spot. Also now, Joy Riders trying to get going, but they're inside the final two, and it's still Orleans four clear. Orleans is four clear. Roaring Hawk is coming out of the pack in a second. Then comes Barber Cars. Now Cafe Pacific's trying to throw down a challenge. Kuwaiti Lioness has got work to do, but it's Orleans as table mate who's clear inside the final half furlong. Orleans in the lead, but she's hit the wall and she's stopping. And Cafe Pacific sweeps around the outside. Cafe Pacific sends it up from Barber Cars. Cafe Pacific and Barber Cars they flash bust them both together. Cafe Pacific and Barber Covers. Uh, Kuwaiti Lioness finished well. And they finished in a bit of a heat. I don't know whether the leader hit the wall or whether the jockey took it a bit too easy. It may be a mixture of the two. But I think Craig Allen may have just taken the oaks. He certainly has. Look at that. Three short heads. For a more exciting finish, could you? Cafe Pacific for Craig Allen, the winner. Barber Covers for Darren Thompson, second. Kuwaiti Lioness for Paul Rhodes, third. Roaring Hawk for Dan Hughes, that one's run a blinder finished fourth, and Orleans, the long time leader for Paul Rhodes, was fifth. <laughs>